Chairman Blumenthal, Ranking Member Blackburn, and members of the subcommittee. My name is Michael Beckerman. I'm the Vice President of Public Policy for the Americas at TikTok. I'm also the father of two young daughters. I'm passionate about ensuring that our children stay safe online. I joined TikTok after nearly a decade representing the internet industry at large because I saw an opportunity to help TikTok responsibly grow from a young startup to a trusted entertainment platform. TikTok is not a social network based on followers or social graph. It's not an app that people check to see what their friends are doing. You watch TikToks, so you create on TikTok. The passion and creativity and diversity of our community has fueled new cultural trends, chart-topping artists, and businesses across the country. It has been a bright spot for American families who create videos together. And I've heard from countless friends and family and even members of the Senate and your staff about how joyful and fun and entertaining and authentic TikTok content truly is. And I'm proud of the hard work that our safety teams do every single day to safeguard our community and that our leadership makes safety and wellness a priority, particularly to protect teens on the platform. Being open and humble is important to the way we operate at TikTok. In the context of the hearing today, that means we seek out feedback from experts and stakeholders to constantly improve. When we find areas or find flaws where we can do better, we hold ourselves accountable and we find solutions. Turning a blind eye to areas where we can improve is not part of our company's DNA. But most importantly, we strive to do the right thing, protecting people on the platform. When it comes to protecting minors, we work to create age-appropriate experiences for teens throughout their development. We have proactively built privacy and safety protections with this in mind. For example, people under 16 have their accounts set to private automatically. They can't host live streams, and they can't send direct messages on our platform. And we don't allow anyone to send off-platform videos, images, or links via direct messaging. These are perhaps underappreciated product choices that go a long way to protect teens. And we made these decisions, which are counter to industry norms or our own short-term growth interests, because we're committed to do what's right and building for the long term. We support parents in their important role to protect teens. That's why we've built parental controls called family pairing that empower a parent to link their TikTok account in a simple way from their own device as the parent to their teenager's account to enable a range of privacy and safety controls. And I encourage all the parents that are listening to the hearing today to take an active role in your teen's phone and app use. And if they're on TikTok, please check out Family Pairing. Visit our youth portal. Read through our guardian's guide that's on our safety center. Our tools for parents are industry leading, innovative, but we're always looking to add and improve. It's important to know that our work is not done in a vacuum. It's critical for platforms, experts, and governments to collaborate on solutions that protect the safety and well-being of teens. That's why we partner with Common Sense Networks, who helps us ensure that we provide age-appropriate content in our under-13 app experience. We also work closely with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, the National Parent Teacher Association, the Digital Wellness Lab at Boston Children's Hospital, and our U.S. Content Advisory Council. TikTok has made tremendous strides to promote the safety and well-being of teens, but we also acknowledge and we are transparent about the room that we have to grow and improve. For example, we're investing in new ways for our community to enjoy content based on age appropriateness or family comfort. And we're developing more features that empower people to shape and customize their experience in the app. But there is no finish line when it comes to protecting children and teens. The challenges are complex, but we are determined to work hard and keep the platform safe and create age-appropriate experiences. We do know trust must be earned, and we're seeking to earn trust through a higher level of action, transparency, and accountability, as well as a humility to learn and improve. Thank you for your leadership on these important issues. I look forward to answering the questions of the committee. Thank Thanks, you. Mr. Beckerman.